Hi guys, I'm Alicia Camacho and welcome to this week's episode of Being in America and it's been really, really cool. It's so great. Today I thought as my first video back, I'd do an American fast food mukbang, which is myself, you know. We have Panda Express today, we have Chick-fil-A because it's amazing. Like literally I've never tasted anything so good. And then we have Wendy's. I figured I might as well try Wendy's burger. I could try Burger King or McDonald's, but we have both in South Africa and both in Portugal. So I was like, that's not anything different. Because I couldn't find a Dunkin' Donut close enough to walk to, because I walked to all these places. I decided to try something that's a little bit more American and not really heard of, and it's called Duck Donuts. I got a, a really good donut, guys. So, um, what do we have? I have been really wanting to try Panda Express for like the longest time ever. What did I get? Oh, I got a cute little fortune cookie. And then I asked for plum sauce, so they gave me plum sauce. I don't know why I asked for plum sauce. Um, I just did. First, eat at a restaurant that I went to. So it might be cold. Oh, my mouth is all in the shit. And just as I thought, it's all like bejumbled. The orange chicken, because I've read a lot about the orange chicken. And then I got some spicy beef and then egg fried rice. So, we're gonna try that. Chick-fil-A. Waffle fries, guys. Oh my soul. Like, if you only dream of these things. What I got was chicken tenders, which are so tasty. Then I got me a chicken sandwich, which is still nice and warm. And then got the waffle fries. Now, with Chick-fil-A, they have got a whole bunch of sauces, which I was able to try. But my favorites are definitely like these three, the honey and mustard, the Polynesian, and the Chick-fil-A sauce. And they give them to you for free, guys. You don't have to pay. And they're really generous. They give you two of each. Also, at Chick-fil-A, I got a strawberry milkshake. They had peach one, but I wasn't really sure, you know, it's like my first milkshake experience. Apparently Chick-fil-A's milkshakes are like really good. Figured, play it safe, go to a strawberry. Oh, my soul. It's so good, it's so delicious. And then I got the fruit punch, because although I love Dr. Pepper, and I love Snapple over here, Chick-fil-A has this high C fruit punch drink. I think you can get it anywhere, but it is so good. Like, I'm obsessed. And from home, we have peach snapple because I just love peach snapple. For dessert, because I figured, why not? I went to Duck Donuts. Duck Donuts. You can personalize your donuts or you can get like a whole bunch of them. I personalized it specifically with these flavors in mind because I know I'm never gonna get it in South Africa or Portugal. This would be the place and the country to try this combination. If you don't like this combination, I don't know what you're doing with your life. It's a bacon and maple donut. Guys, this is the perfect combination of sweet and salty. So excited to try it. Let's do this. For my Wendy's. I'm probably not gonna finish all of this on my own, guys. I'm oh, wow. Look at the sandwich. So inside the Wendy's burger, it's fried onion rings, barbecue sauce, American cheese, and a square patty um inside the panda express food all right so i got um orange chicken let's see it looks all messed up now guys this is really good mm. so what happens is when you go to panda express they literally have it's almost like chipotle oh i was gonna get chipotle but i was like i already had chipotle and i also had mo's yesterday or you know, yesterday, this time of the video. And Mo's is really good. I had a burrito from Mo's and um, I had a bowl from Chipotle. They're both equally good. I can't compare the two because I had two different products from each of them. I like them both. So, you know, it's whatever your preference is. At um, Panda Express, they'll have like all their foods like out in serving trays and then you can just like put whatever you want and then you go pay at the till, you get like a a cup for your cold drinks and then that's it you know you just okay now I, I, I chose the spicy beef oh Panda Express also allows you to like sample your food and I was like nah that's okay I'm just gonna wing it 
so hopefully this beef is not so spicy. I got Beijing beef. It looked nice. And I'm cold. Chinese food is always really good. Snapple time! Snapple fact. Most rechargeable batteries can be recharged up to a thousand times. So there you go. Now you know why rechargeable batteries are so expensive. Peach tea snapple. It's literally the best snapple. Next I'm gonna try, guys, I'm so tempted. I want, I want a waffle fry. So we're gonna open up the honey mustard sauce. I know why people don't. I think honey mustard is one of the most underrated sauces on the planet. It is so good and yet people don't like it or people don't enjoy it and I'm just like what is wrong with you? so guys waffle fries can you see a waffle fry in its glory oh my goodness mm. Mm -hmm. so good now let's open the chick-fil-a sauce I actually don't know what sauce it is I think it's like you know, like Nando's Pyrenees it's like a creamy mayo barbecue now guys as you may or may not know, Chick-fil-A is closed on a Sunday because it is run by a Christian man and he believes Sundays are day of rest, so good on you, mate. Out of all the fast food places I went to, Chick-fil-A was by far the busiest, inside and outside. They also have a breakfast menu where you can get biscuits and you had like this little mini burger thing in the gym. One of the best. Chickens I've ever tasted. Guys, you thought that AFC or Popeyes in South Africa was good? Mm. Nothing on Chick fil A. And this milkshake is like a mixture of thick and I think there's actual real strawberries in here. Oh no, that's not cherry. Okay, so the next burger I'm gonna try is the Wendy's burger. People are not mad about Wendy's over here, as far as I can tell. Like, it isn't like people's like, number one go to. But I figured, why not? And I didn't want to go for an ordinary burger. I wanted to go for something that was a little bit different. So let's see. Mm. That's not bad. That's actually really tasty. The patty is like really nice. The gherkin is a little bit prominent because it has been walking down the road with me for a very long time. So it's had time to soak its juice and eat the bread. Which is not a bad thing. But, you know, it's, it's a gherkin. The sauce is working with the patty to make it overall a really good tasty burger. The onions are crunchy. Which is nice. That's what fried onions are meant to do. I mean to be. Now let's have some of my food punch. Oh. So <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit because I've been in America for a while now. And uh, it's lots of fun. I don't think people really conceptualize how big America actually is. If you think, okay, America's big. America's really big. But when you get to America and you actually see how big America is, only then will you conceptualize how big America is. When I got here, I was seriously overwhelmed. I was just like, oh my soul, what am I gonna do? Like this place is huge. Thankfully, the family I'm staying with has been so amazing. I could not ask for a more supportive and caring and loving home to be in. But I'm working on a lot of things, you know, like, is that a burger? Ha. There's a lot of things that you have to do that, um, it's taking longer than expected. Definitely when they say that America is like the land of dreams, it really is. There's a lot of people here who are looking for a better place um, to live and to like succeed and to follow their dreams. Hello. Everybody here is pretty friendly. Sometimes it's like, hi ma'am, bye ma'am, thank you ma'am. And I'm like, I'm 23 years old. Why are you calling me ma'am? <laughs> Just be like, thank you so much and have a great day. Don't call me ma'am. And you can literally get anything. Guys, I've been to just about every single supermarket except for like Walmart maybe. And uh, Costco, I mean Costco. It is incredible about how much stuff they have in their food aisles. Like, I get overwhelmed by it. I went the one time to, um, where did I go? I went to Kroger's, right? Now Kroger's is a, is a shopping, uh, it's a supermarket over here. It's, you know, Publix and Kroger's are like similar in a way. You got like Whole Foods, which is like more healthy and organic kind of places. Then you have Target, which is like everything. Like Woolworths, Target Woolworths, but like not in the same level, it's a little bit different. But you get what I mean in terms of like them selling like uh, homeware and clothes and bedding and then like 
also food so you have a lot of that but then they also have like electronics and like makeup stuff Woolworths meets pick and pay kind of thing and they made a baby and I popped Target you know but Target is like really really cool so I went to Kroger's yes I was saying I went to Kroger's and I'm out and I was just like there is so many options like you could get so confused as to what's about I could like literally spend like almost three hours just going through every single product and seeing if it's worth it or not and I mean they think of everything like literally everything they have like so many things I'm describing it very vaguely because I don't have the words to describe it because it is out of this world guys the food I've been eating I'm trying Chobani yogurt now I'm very picky with my yogurt in Portugal there's only like one yogurt that I eat but over here there's a brand called Chobani it looks amazing like it doesn't look amazing it tastes amazing it's a lentis gelato ice cream little tub things oh my goodness guys it is so easy to finish one of those things like this and you're just like where did the ice cream go it was here like a minute ago and now it's not yeah and you're just like well i didn't eat it but someone ate it because only you could eat much lot. but talenti just like won my heart over cereal guys oh lucky charm so good um it's a little weird though because it's kind of like not very sweet oaties or cheerios like cheerios without the sweetness and then you have the marshmallow and then your milk your, your milk will turn like purple blue i have chocolate chocolate frosties would you want to come live in america yeah for sure i don't understand why people want to stay here it's a great country it's got a lot of things obviously it's got its own problems i mean like don't get me wrong up until this point of my stay it has been more about work and less play what would i need and what i don't need and what i need to think about you know I need to sort out my life because basically there's a lot to do i'm currently putting all three sauces on my sandwich that's the way you do it so now i'm going to eat my chick-fil-a sandwich the chicken is so tender it doesn't even taste like chicken the bread is so Fluffy. It's just like so soft when you put it in your mouth. You don't even taste the gherkin, but it's fine. I mean, like, who, who wants to taste gherkin? And then you have all three sauces in one sandwich. You've been exposed with flavor. Let's try our sweet and salty donuts. I'm, I think I've had Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not sure. What was I saying? I have a feeling that might be just so delicious. Already, the consistency of this donut looks a little like a cake all like spongy <laughs> it's spongy and whatnot but the bacon tastes good oh okay, the glaze tastes like syrup the bacon tastes like cake the donut tastes like cake for me i wouldn't really call it a donut i think the only reason why it's called a donut is because it has a hole in the middle but this is my dream with a hole in it, basically. Because I love cake. Bacon and syrup is like the best combination ever. So when you put maple glaze or with the bacon on a cake, you get Elise's dreams, Roger. This is so good. I know most people are like, oh, Americans, burgers and fast food, like this American food. But they do it well, you know. Out of all my fast foods that I've ever eaten, while i've been here i don't think i've had a single bad fast food meal i wish there was more to tell you from my little adventure there's really not much to tell all there is is that i'm working my ass off to try and get some things organized and to do things properly and correctly obviously this is the place that i'm meant to be in at i've had more opportunities here in the last month than what i have had in like the past year two years so do i want to move to america heck yes will i love the food probably um i will have to maybe just walk everywhere i go to burn off everything that i eat this is the place where i think it's gonna happen guys it's a scary idea it's a scary thought that it may not happen for me or that it will take a lot longer than what it has already if your dream is worth fighting for then you should do it like 100%. I miss my family though, I really do. I miss my friends. To be fully confident in myself and in the fact that 
what I'm doing is important and it matters and it's gonna happen. If you like this episode, please like, share and subscribe to this channel of mine because I'm wonderful. Follow me, yes. Follow me on my social media. Instagram, you can follow me on at Alicia Camacho underscore official and on my Twitter, Alicia C underscore official. Remember, you are awesome, you are great, and you are loved. Bye.